Hey there Pod Squad, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yona, I am a third year podiatric medical student going to school at CSPM. And today I am going to be finishing off the series of the road to passing boards part one, which is for a lot of you coming up in July. And today I'm just going to share my schedule, what my day was like, and some pearls for you guys to take leading up to your boards. So right behind me is my schedule and I'm just going to walk you through it. Okay guys, so right here is my schedule and just to start this off i set a time for myself a sleeping time and a wake-up time and i stuck through this time for two months and two months meaning that i actually started studying around the beginning of may um i, I would say it's around the second week of may just because i finished finals at the end of march or the end of april sorry and i gave myself a week off from not doing anything because second year for me was the toughest year. A lot of classes that really gave me a hard time and I was just really happy that I was done with it. So I just gave myself one week break to be with my family, friends, and just relax. So I officially started second week of May and I had about seven weeks to study for these boards. So I really needed to have a rigid schedule. So 11 p.m. sleep time and a 7 a.m. wake up time was what I stuck through. So now just looking at the schedule, I would say for a lot of you, you need to sit down and set up a schedule. It doesn't have to be like this, but it could be something similar to this. And this is what my schedule looked like. So um, there are quite a few subjects for boards part one. And looking at my Monday, I had LEA, HA, and micro. The reason why I like that uh, setup for me was that I wanted all my anatomy in one day. So if I was looking at a body, if I was looking at the body already, I wanted just to have the anatomy in front of me, look at the arm and the leg or whatever that day. And then for micro, I liked ending my day with just sketchy videos. I think sketchy videos without having to take too much notes because I was already taking a bunch of notes for LE and HA, having just to sit there, watch the videos and take as little notes as possible felt relaxing to me. Plus sketchy videos are not too hard for me to grasp. And I just had to write like little mnemonics to remember uh, a few things in the video. Leading up to my Tuesday, I had farm path and biochem. This was a harder day for me. And I knew making the schedule, I was gonna have like a lighter day and a harder day. And I, I did that for Tuesdays and Thursdays. So for Tuesday, it was farm, which I studied the packet that my professor made for us. And on that topic, all the work or all the resources that I use to study for boards is in a separate video. I think the hyperlink will pop up somewhere in this video, so you can check out that. I won't talk too much about the resources I use, so I'm just talking about mainly my schedule and what I did. Um, okay, so with that being said, for Path, I used Pathoma, watching videos in Biochem, a lot of videos as well, and I was taking a lot of notes when I was watching those videos, um, just for me to remember those things, because for me, Path and Biochem are definitely the two hardest subjects for me to actually study, and there was just, you, you already know. If you're watching this video, you already know that path and biochem for the most part, it's a lot of memorization, a lot of flows, flow charts, so you just constantly have to write it for you to just remember it, in my opinion. That's my, that's my way of studying. And so Wednesday was a replica of my Monday, Thursday was a replica of my Tuesday. So I was always hitting new material from Monday through Thursday. That was a big must. I was get, just gathering a bunch of material and just review, like learning all this material. Friday was actually my lightest day. And I put immuno and physio, and I didn't rep, uh, double those because immuno I felt pretty confident in. Um, my professor did a great job in preparing us for immuno, and immuno, there wasn't a lot of subjects to actually study for immuno. Um, plus, physio, I was, I in my previous video, videos I've mentioned before, physio I was tutoring for a year as a peer tutor. So I was very on top of physio to begin with. So this was really nice for me on my Fridays. And then I would do like a half day of amino and physio and then the rest of the day just relax. I needed that relaxing time because burnout was real and you will definitely feel very fatigued going through, studying for boards. Um, so have that relaxing time. And that relaxing time for me included, included uh, just going out with my friends, being with my family, just, um, going outside and eating at places or taking out because this was actually during COVID time, uh, working out. Uh, these were just things for me that were really relaxing for me. Saturday was review. Okay, so 
this is one of the most crucial dates for me because with all this new material I was accumulating from Monday through Friday, I needed Saturday to just really double down on that material and just review it and make sure I actually had it down because I'm the type of person who cannot rely on just the first pass. I require like a second or third pass for, for materials to at least stick long enough for me to take the boards and pass it. So I needed that Saturday just to review and that just meant going back through my notes, looking at Chrislets, looking at Aki. Those are key uh, resources that you could be using to just be on top of your stuff. And it's really nice and organized. So review, review, review. That was my Saturday. And Sunday was like just everything all at once because Sunday, it was a bunch of questions that I was doing on board vitals. If you don't have access to board vitals, I encourage you to look into investing in one or seeing if your school provides you an access code for board vitals because that is great. I love board vitals. I mean, some of the questions are really hard and some of the concepts are kind of like, what the heck, where is that coming from? Uh, but doing questions and learning from questions is a proven method time and time again. It's, it's a great way for you to know the material really well and you can learn from your mistakes. And the explanations from board vitals were fantastic. And I really liked using board vitals. Um, Plus, I was always learning new material through board vitals that I didn't catch on these days. So that is a quick snapshot of what uh, my schedule looks like. Um, and so this is this is what it is. If you want to take a screenshot, go ahead. So I'm going to take you through like a quick day of what what I would do in one day. OK, so I just want to give a quick snapshot of my day and let's just say let, let's just pick a day. So Monday for me. So again, my wake up time was 7 a.m. I would sleep at 11 p.m. and wake up at 7 a.m. So I wake, wake up at 7 a.m. And during that time, I would brush my teeth, get ready and eat breakfast. And that typically took me either 30 minutes up to an hour. And, you know, sometimes you just need your brain to start up. You're just not ready to just jump into material. You probably look at your phone a little bit. So, yeah. So I would give myself like an hour from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. to just get ready, eat and just feel uh, ready to tackle on the day. So I jump off with LEA. And LEA for me was from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, that for me, I, I wanted to study a good amount of LEA. So four hours of LEA felt really good for me on those days. And then from 12 to one, I would have lunch. And uh, lunch for me was um, important because again, this was another break time for me. I would always look forward to lunch because um, it was, a, it was just, you, you get fatigued, so you want to treat yourself. And lunch to me was a nice treat. And then after lunch, after like at 1 p.m., I'd start on HA. And for HA, I would do three to four hours. That could be up to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. Uh, and once I'm done with HA, I would have dinner from five to six or six, yeah, five to six, I'd say one hour. Again, another treat for myself. And then from six to 10, I would do micro. And micro again was just a bunch of sketchy videos that I would do, relax pretty much. It was like watching just a bunch of shows and sketchy is really nice in that way because the guy who's narrating it is, is, is corny, but I, I like it. And it, it helps me remember the material. And um, afterwards, when I ended at 10 p.m., so I had an hour before my bedtime, usually during that time, I would, again, relax, maybe do some weights, maybe work out a little bit, just to feel like I've done something throughout the day, because sometimes you're just sitting in your chair all day, even during breakfast and lunchtime, you're just like sitting there and eating and watching a show or something. So for me, I needed to move around, then that included just walking around my, just my own apartment or exercising, doing something active because um, you, I just felt really bad being stuck and just not doing a lot. So I think exercising for me during that hour was pretty good. And it's not some crazy hard exercise. I don't want to be um, sweating before I go to bed or anything like that. It's just a light exercise, then a quick shower and then head to bed and just repeat that on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, Fridays. So uh, this, this was a, a pretty quick routine and that's pretty much what I uh, did on a typical day. And um, just for studying methods wise, I used the Pomodoro technique, um, 50 minutes of studying, 10 minutes of uh, 
relaxing, doing whatever. For me, it was usually meditating. I usually like meditating after uh, doing a long study session. I think 50 minutes and then 10 minutes of meditating, relaxing your mind um, is really beneficial and it really helps reset your mind a little bit and tackle new materials. So um, it's up to you guys. I think Pomodoro technique works for me, but whatever works for you, just make sure you're just hitting as much material during that four hour period if you do follow this type of schedule um, because you don't want to waste any minute. Uh, so with that being said, that's pretty much my typical schedule. And again, uh, I want to leave you guys with some information or just some pearls that I, I have for just studying for the boards. And uh, some of these pearls include try to avoid burnout. And I, I've mentioned it a few times during this video. Burnout is real and you need to have a relaxing day or take half a day off or do something because um, you need to get your mind off things. It really, you, if you stare at a computer screen for 12 hours a day or even 10 hours a day, your eyes will strain, you will probably get a headache. You need to do something. Uh, just go outside, get some fresh air or something. Uh, don't be stuck in your room all day. Uh, you need to move, be active. Uh, that's one. Two. This schedule is my schedule. This, you can manipulate the schedule to however you like it, do whatever you want. This was just an example of what I did so you guys can kind of get an idea of what you can do to get ready for boards because for me, I asked a lot of upperclassmen. I think you guys should utilize your upperclassmen because they have, they'll, they'll have valuable information to share with you. They might even have a lot of research for, for you uh, that you can use to study for boards. So use your upperclassmen, talk to other people, learn from them. And uh, three, d go do study groups if you want. Um, study groups is not for everybody. Uh, for me, I personally like studying alone. I like to do things my own way, uh, at my own pace. But sometimes I had a study group. Sometimes I would hit up Diksha and just be like, hey, do you want to study together? And it didn't mean like talk things out. It was just sitting by her and just being next to her and just sometimes having a small talk with her, you know, just about certain concepts that I felt uncomfortable with or I just didn't know. Um, I think that could be very valuable in the long run because some of these concepts can be hard for you to actually understand versus somebody else, they, they could easily get it. So just talking to them, um, that's really good too. And um, another tip is eat healthy. I, I mean, I, I don't want to um, uh, parent you on how to eat, but I think eating, eating healthy or just at least eating in, not eating too much processed food, food that will make you tired, food that will put you in a food coma, like eat things that are like whole and nutritious and good for your body because if you're not working out, if you're not being active, you don't want to become um, a bum by just eating a bunch of ramen or something where you just gain a lot of weight, don't feel good about yourself. So eat foods that are good for you and you, you'll feel good while studying. I'm telling you, you have great levels to maintain doing long periods of studying. Um, and also another tip, sleep. Sleep is so crucial. I, I'm, I'm a type of person who can't, can't do any less than seven hours of sleep. I need typically seven to eight hours of sleep to function. Um, but I, I personally felt sleeping was the key, was one of the big keys to my success in doing well on boards. Um, just because it helped me remember a lot of information that I didn't think I was going to remember the day of the exam. And I, I, I attribute that to sleep, for sure, sleep. So if there's anything else I missed, um, I'll, you just, just, ask me or tell me in the comment section because there's a lot of things there's a lot of factors that go into studying for boards and it's a, it's it's a nerve-wracking exam I, I know a lot of you are nervous for it but you know uh Diksha and i are always here to always answer your guys questions if you guys have any questions about anything just feel free to dm us on uh the podiatry journey on instagram or just email us at the dpm journey at gmail.com because we're always willing to help you guys out and answer any of your questions. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video gives you some hope in making a solid study schedule leading up to your boards and um, good luck in everything, okay? You guys got this, you guys will pass. Take care everybody. It's Pod Squad signing out.